Hello, hi, dear sweet family of light. Hi, it's me, Lisa Transcendence Brown. And, okay, well, yes, there's always lots going on. And so for this one, this is a biggie. Uh, because it correlates all the way back to many, many, many um, years of time. And how everything is coming into play. Um, a collective clearing that's huge for everyone. Um, and for whatever space they occupy right now. Um, every new moon uh, brings forth the most separation from source there is. Um, human is more human during this time. So it makes for a very interesting observation period. Um, it takes a lot of work to stay conscious if one um, is uh, struggling with this still. It takes a lot of stepping back, a lot of observation, a lot of non-participation. Um, it brings out the drama. It brings out the chaos. It brings out um, a lot of things that otherwise are possibly not as visible. A lot of people look at the new moon as rebirth and creation of the new. They don't realize, um, or they do, that the new moon brings out the deep, deep, deep dark um, to become visible. And I only use dark for the sake of uh, describing right now because in our world there is no light and there is no dark. There is density. But lately it does appear it's dark uh, only because it's been hidden. And we're observing collectively a lot of huge hiding. A lot of... Okay, this is the um, Atlantean energies uh, of the left brain, the reptilian energies of the left brain, that which was embedded in our uh, DNA. This is the human aspect of us. So every one of us have this. Um, until we transcend it inside, let it glow, go. Glow, yes, we glow. And move on. Um, but anything that we've kept in our physical reality, any one that we've still got in our physical reality, um, if we participate in it, it's ours. Um, we use others as mirrors to see what's within us, and, and we step away. We say, no, not in my reality anymore. That's not okay. We do a lot of this along the way, and a lot many don't realize how necessary this is. You do not leave that dimensional version of you behind, that dimension where that exists. You don't really leave it. You um, transcend it and integrate it from within. Um, you unify as one and become a whole we again. But you cannot do this if you're participating in it. And sometimes the participation is by saying no, it's not okay. You have to hold the new frequency before that energy within you can break. You have to anchor the new realities in and then you wait for the physical world to align with that. Now the big ones take a bit. Um, a lot of them are instant here. So it just depends on what is going on for you at the time. But I'm going to go back to the new moon because each new moon the last many months, especially since last June and then again in December when we activated a new, um, the next phase of God consciousness, um, Atlantean emerges each time to clear reptilian human, whatever words you want to use, it's all the same thing, different version of the truth. Um, we are not victims here. This is our programming. It's inside of us. These are our realities. These are our experiences. These are our memories. These are the things we have been and not been, um, however you would like to look at it. Um, you can let go of it really quickly if you don't care, if you just acknowledge it for what it is and let it go. Uh, otherwise, it one stays caught up in the loop and the frequency and spins around in a circle until they've had enough, until they've let go of the frequency inside of them and, and until they have decided to stop playing the game in that, that part of the illusion program, whatever you want to call it, same thing. All right, Atlantean is what I refer to it as what um, is most um, prevalent for what I see. I have been observing a lot collectively and this is the greed. These are all structures that were held in place. Um, this is the deception. This is the hiding. This is the lying. 
this is the um I, I went somewhere the other day and there was and looked at the energy of, of the place or the space and the in, the entanglement and the um, twisted grid work around it energetically and the words were and I don't know them exactly um, oh the tangle web we weave uh, when we do consi conspire to mm, pers um, I don't know what you call it, deceive. That's not the right words. But basically it was about deception and everything that was going on. And I was like, oh, nope, not me. Back away. I'm not walking up in that. Um, another place went to and was observing those and the interactions going on. And it was all about greed, drama, lies. And I'm like, wow, there's a lot of this going on. Uh, it... it keeps emerging the last few months because it will become to a point where it's paramount um, and has to go. Now I went through a, a thing last June where I actually wrote on Facebook that the reptilian DNA had been obliterated inside but that many were not aware of this. Um, one that would correlate to what I experienced at that time um, which is what makes it so visible and easy to see so that each time we hit a new moon it becomes more visible anything that we have in our reality still that means we have to let it go anybody that represents this still um, there's a lot of us um, within us that wants to hold on that wants to wait that wants to um, allow uh, re the realities to shift on their own and we keep seeing that they're not and we pull away a little bit more and we pull away a little bit more and then at some point in time you have to completely pull away there's been a lot of this going on because everything is more visible here and those that are, are playing in this are not aware that things are so visible so you do not move into a dimension where this doesn't exist until you choose not to allow it in yours so it takes a lot of awareness and consciousness and not pointing the finger out there um, now mirrors we will talk about mirrors because everything technically is a mirror and I like the one that I use uh, the one that I saw was that it is a mirror until you step out from in front of the mirror and you step off to the side and then as a you can stand in another dimension and you can watch it all um, occur it's not your mirror anymore um, there is a lot of magnificent things out there there's a lot of love there's a lot of beauty there's a lot of magic that can be your world um, but you have to let go of what isn't magical if you want it to be this way so because I observe everything because I will just step back because I will see how everything correlates because I will watch the web of connectivity and the chain reactions and the domino effect and see how things work um, we can actually step away and watch things and, and just keep going um, to do things that we need here so all I'm the only reason I bring this up is because a lot of people may not be understanding what's going on now I saw that this goes back to 2008 when structures started to collapse fast forward many years we went through uh, an additional collapse uh, last June um, and then uh, the power structures this is about the power structures that exist the grid work that where we held this inside of us and as they collapse out there because every time grid work comes down it comes down inside of you You'll, your abdominal area your rib cage your whole um, the framework um, de-densifies, that's my word, um, as it leaves uh, your own structure and collapses and, and it collapses out there simultaneously before or after depending on your amount of separation within you. Time is a perception and each one of us have our own realities and how this uh, works for us. Okay, fast forward to now, the last many months, observing what's going on out there, the drama, the hiding, the greed, the, um, let's see what else I've been observing collectively. It's been quite um, interesting, to say the least, to step back and just watch things as they occur. Um, 
All of this is a huge separation represented in the power structures out there. So as this grid works, work starts to collapse, um, you can see it very visible if you observe and watch out there um, and then know that in the bigger uh, microcosm, macrocosm, the exterior world, that is going to be collapsing as well. Now there's a huge collapse coming up and I see that for this June. Now I don't do time frames, nobody cares. Um, but I can observe the themes and I can watch and I can see um, how things are occurring and we've been um, it's been building up each month um, this year um, since this started happening um, for people to clear. So as we come into the next solstice um, things will continue to collapse. Those participating in these realities, um, it will become very paramount because the one thing that causes the human um, to find who they are inside is for everything that they've held on to to be removed so that they can see clearly. Um, everything has a point. Everything has a purpose. And the, the more we hold on, uh, the more we are not coming from integrity, integrity and love and honesty from inside, the more we have to suffer too. And uh, many of us already had to go through this. We get it. We've done it before. While we watch all of those uh, still participating in those realities, understanding what has to occur. Um, okay. So, anyway, we are going through a massive collective clearing and a dismantling of the old grid work that was in all of those that are still very human that participate in the deception, greed, um, what game, mm, um, illusion, uh, holographic uh, realities, whatever you want to call them because they are, you solidify your physical reality um, by what you participate in and what you allow and what you um, believe and holding your own frequencies inside. Okay, so let's move on to that, to the amazing things that are occurring. I want to talk about the collapsing of timelines that went, went through, a huge one. For me personally, la um, last December, a two-year collapse at, at one time. So those of you who know me, I have been moving around a lot, and I realize um, I've known certain things have to occur. You have to jump through a lot of uh, hoops, and you have to collapse the timelines um, as you do a, a huge quantum jump. Uh, let's take the two-year jump. I'm having to experience the collapse of all of those realities in the physical. The less I sleep, and this goes for all of us, the more we have to experience it in the physical and the waking state. Um, if I had time to lay my head down and sleep for days, I could probably clear all of those and wake up in a whole new reality like I've done before. But it's very busy, and I have been working a lot of hours and time trying to keep up with the collapse of timelines because you also have to do everything uh, really, really fast. The collapsing of timelines, um, you have to clear everything that was in between the new timeline and the old one. Boom, smush, collapse. So, yes, I'm moving a lot and I'm moving from place to place because, and I saw yesterday, this is because these are all the places that I would have lived over a two year period of time. Now, my time frame and another's time frame may not match up. So what I'm experiencing is what would have occurred because I can see um, a, along the timelines and the parallels how the realities would have occurred. Um, it's funny because they're not matching up as they were supposed to, ha ha ha, not, not as supposed to, but as they were visible and you always have to stay very open and allow things to occur. It's funny how things are happening because I saw um, certain things would be coming and they have. And, but and moving through the timelines really, really fast and moving beyond the things that should have matched up because those that are existent in that reality are still moving at their separation of time, which is really, really slow. The human mind is really, really slow. It still wants to hang on. It still wants to process. So which means that I'm having to bypass all those timelines, all those timelines and all of those physical realities that would have matched up 
but now I've got to move on to a different reality where something else is waiting, which is always more magnificent than the time before. Um, yes, it is uh, flying by the seat of your pants and not knowing what's coming the next moment a lot of the times, but you always do know. And so my next place within the next week uh, we'll find out where I go. This week I'm in another place. Last week I was in another because I have to move through all the timelines as well. I am shown that I'll be settling soon, either in May or June. Um, I have asked my universe to, all right, let's get it settled because this moving around is really, really hard uh, because I can't keep up with all the work I've got to do and everything that I need to do for everybody else. So, um, that's my uh, short version of what's been going on with timeline collapses and how things occur. Yes, it's very fast. Time doesn't exist. You'll look back at yesterday and it'll feel like it was a few months ago. You'll look back at a few um, moments ago and go, wow, I just lost three hours. Um, it, it moves around a lot um, and it's very, uh, if you're trying to keep up, you can't. You might as well just forget it. Um, just keep going. And one thing that's really, really important is to remember that this is a new moment, this is a new ra reality. The previous one doesn't exist unless you pull it forward from the past and, and bring it back to be real here, unless you project it into your future and keep recreating it. So let it all go, open up, see where you have any resistance inside, let it all fall away, expect a new reality and allow it to occur. Um, call it forth. It's your reality. You created it. We live in a world. We live in, in now uh, that realities have already occurred. All you do is step into that vibration in order to walk right into them. But you have to hold that vibration. You have to let go of that separation inside of you. You have to be willing to let go of everybody, everything that you held on to, that you perceived as safe, that, that you did as a safety mechanism. Uh, there is no safety uh, necessary here. Uh, the moment you go into protection mode, and I'm seeing a lot of this as well, a lot of people have created physical realities and in their mind they need to protect themselves. This is part of the hiding and the deception and they don't realize that everybody else can see. Um, it, it's been quite interesting and all we can do is wait and step away go do our own realities the way we need them to be in order to stay in service and assisting everyone the way we were meant to here and allow those that still have humanness human mentalities human separation that needs to clear to go clear it the way they need to um, you don't need to intertwine realities um, unless you need something from that experience and um, believe me, we don't. We can let it go. We can step back. We don't need that um, experience anymore. I've changed the word from lesson to experience. We don't need lessons. That's a human word. We just have experiences to show us what we couldn't see. We have experiences to um, make things visible um, because we needed proof. Um, if you stop asking for proof and start believing and trusting from inside, you can move a lot quicker if you'll start to let go and see things from a different perspective, from a different dimension, things get a whole lot easier and, and all. So, a lot of magical things happening, a lot of moving around, a lot of adjustments occurring to physical worlds out there so that everybody can realign with their new physical realities here. We've done a lot, a lot, a lot of quantum jumps. The last, um, wow, since December it's been like continual and constant, which is a lot of people have a hard time with the physical world adjusting. Um, when you get used to it, it can be a lot of fun. It can be testing at times. It can be quite trying, but you always know that it's going to be more awesome in the next moment. You just keep going and keep anchoring light as a crystal grid keeper here. You keep your consciousness connected to a higher grid work. You don't go, um, this is not word. You, you don't reconnect into the old grid work and start it back up again. You might have some old energy that still wants to go, and you let it go. You recognize it. Let go of the judgment. Just see it for what it is. Say, wow, I was really human right there. That needs to go. So, 
be okay with whatever you see within you. It's just an old program. It just wants to go. It's just coming up because there's still some energy there. Nobody cares but you. So, open your heart. Become love again because this is who you are. And as you do, things get a whole lot easier. Things flow a whole lot more. And I hope to be doing more videos because this is a lot easier for me um, for some reason lately because writing um, is quite time consuming with all the things that I'm trying to do too. And for those of you who do send in donations to assist us um, in the work that we're doing here, there's a lot of stuff going on here on Kauai and in every other dimension in Rome. We're bringing a lot of awesomeness forth and it does take a lot of support. And, and contributions. So visit my website if you want to assist with this. We're doing it for everyone. So I love you and mahalo and may your everything be magnificent. Have an amazing everything and I'll see you very soon.